if we don't keep you safe, the human race will die out completely? Hey, I'm not gonna let you lock me up, you know. What was Godot up to so early in the morning? What? Is that the artifact? This is Lightning's knife. I keep it in my room, but how did it get out here? Look there. <laughs> Snow! <Sarah! laughs> Daddy! Come on. Have you, okay? <laughs> it's her knife. I found it near the base of the pillar. No. Sarah, I'm sorry. She must be inside the pillar. Lightning's holding up Cocoon. Along with the nail of fire. Wait, what are you talking about? She was right here a second ago. I saw her. We talked. She gave us her blessing. Forget that moment. Lightning was happy. Happy that Snow and I were getting married. She laughed and said congrats. But then, all of a sudden, Lightning disappeared. She was gone, like she was never there to begin with. No one else remembered her smiling and laughing. No one but me. All your friends think your sister is inside that pillar. I was scared. People said I was dreaming. They said... They said I was just making up stories so that I didn't have to face the truth. Listen, Sarah. Your memories are the truth. Lightning is alive. The question is, why are you the only one who remembers? Well... Perhaps history changed somehow. You mean, your memories are true, but history was altered afterwards? Of course, that's not really possible. I know that. But I just don't understand how I can remember it so clearly when no one else can. Weird. The knife looks like it's been polished. Maybe someone was cleaning it out here and we forgot about it. I don't think this is our artifact yet. Let's keep looking. The guys on Cocoon aren't gonna come all the way out here to... Good morning! <laughs> These are my students. I teach their classes. A school teacher, huh? Right! I'm so glad you're all safe. Yeah. Now, did everyone do their homework? I did mine, because I didn't want you getting mad at me like the last time. <laughs> 
seems like you'd be soft on kids, but you're pretty strict, huh? Hey. strict because my teacher was strict. Hmm. Lightning must have rubbed off on me. Uh, my grandmother was a teacher too. She taught me everything I know. She taught me about Grand Pulse and its history. What was your grandmother like? I was always her favorite. She kind of spoiled me. She lived until she was 50, so she had a lot to teach me. 50? But she was still so young. Lifespans were longer during this age. If my grandmother were still alive, I could have learned so much more. I could have... I could have handled things better. That's the kid I was looking for. I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me. It's Mackie! I better get out of here! Hey, what's he got there? Let's follow him. What is that? What are you running from? Watch it. Don't go that way. Shouldn't exist, don't exist, right? There, now we've got you. Miss mm, Farron. You want to tell me what's going on? If you do, I'll buy you Lebro's special lunch every day for a year. A whole year? <laughs> Not sure about your style of discipline, Miss Farron. Why did you run away? I promise I won't get mad if you tell me. I know you say you won't get mad at me, but I can't tell you. I don't want to get yelled at. The kid was trying to get away from Mackie. I bet you anything he was up to no good. I hope you're not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Guess I'll own up. The truth is, I sold something from Mackie. And that's why he was chasing you? What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, wait! What was he doing with this anyway? That belongs to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. 
Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. That's why I've been waiting here. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? Snow. He is a hero after all. And has that faith been enough? Neither of you want to be apart, yet here you are alone. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you tell me, what good is a hero if he's never around? wasn't the artifact after all. I got a question for you. Who's this snow person? A boyfriend? He's just this super cool guy, you know? He doesn't care about the way he looks, but that just makes him so much cooler. Mm-hmm. Well, that's great, I guess. Maybe we should... And he's not just kind, he's reliable too. He always means what he says, and you can totally trust his word. I mean, he's my hero. Oh, and I know you're thinking no one's perfect. I know he has his flaws, and sometimes he makes me so mad, but I love that about him too. No other guy can compare to my hero. <laughs> I... yeah, I... I get it. Can we just get back to... He has this amazing body, and his face is so handsome! He's tall and blind, he makes me feel so safe! Oh, and even though he's big and tough, he can be so adorable! That's my snow. You done asking? I'm done. Yeah, thanks for all the detail. Back yet, huh? No, instead, my things are showing up in places they shouldn't be. I wonder if someone's trying to mess with us. I doubt it. No one here would do something like that. Hmm. I guess not. Unless they think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. I mean, with time and space being warped everywhere, anything could happen, really. Right. And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay, so maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out. <laughs> 